welcome back to ilovetrouble.com. In this video, we're going to go over permissions and how we can control who has access to do what on your website. Okay, so in our last video, we talked about appearance, installing new themes, and before that, we talked about extending using modules. All right, so in, in our case now, we're looking at the next uh, menu option that is here, people, adding people, and permissions. So I'm going to click on permissions. And as you can see here, there are three user types. Okay, so again, th this is a, a concept that you need to understand before before you can realize what, what can be done. Okay, uh, a user, anonymous user is somebody who just visits your website and he doesn't have, uh, he hasn't logged in into your website or they, they don't have a registered account on your website. So they're just browsing and they're able to see certain things that you control and, and that's it. Authenticated user is somebody who's registered on your website, okay? And then you can give them permissions based on your requirements, all right? So let's say now you have an employee or, or a person who's adding content for you or just managing your website. Well, you don't wanna give them administrator access but you don't want to limit them to just an authenticated user because you want to give them a little bit more permission as in adding new content, okay? Maybe not everybody who signs up on your website is going to have that capability. So what we need to do is, okay, now we need to define that user as somebody who has, who's a writer or, or you know, administrator, uh, content administrator. So. We need to define a role first so that we can give them additional privileges. So you would do that from roles. Okay, so right now we have these three and we can just say writer. Okay, and then we can add that role. And I'm just gonna drag and drop that above. And now if I go back to my permissions, now I have a writer role that I can give a little bit more privilege compared to somebody who was just an authenticated user. Uh, so once we have a role defined, uh, we see that under admin menu, this is the third party module that we added in our previous previous video. It's giving us options, permissions that we can assign based on role. So if I want, let's say, a site administrator to have that menu, uh, administrative menu, I can start giving them access to admin menu and then I can say flush cache and then I can go down, let's say under node, uh, I want them to be able to write an article, create new content, edit their own. Do I want to give them access to edit any content? So let's say if you have multiple uh, users that are writers, can they edit other people's content? Maybe yes, maybe no, depending on your need, you can give them that access. So let's say if I just give them article writing access, do I want to give them delete on content? Sure. Okay. Delete any content? Maybe not. All right. So I'll just do that and then save permission. So now I have defined a new role. Now I can go under people, add a person, you know, I can say writer one and writer one at gmail.com and then we'll just give him a password. They're gonna be active and then here I can assign that user a role and then notify if, if I had a valid email, I could do that and then just create the new user account. So now under people, now I have myself as administrator and under writer one, I have a person who has a role of writer. Okay, so I'm actually gonna log out and then log in. Okay, so now I have this user logged in as writer and you'll see that my admin menu only gives me permission based on the permissions the administrator had given me. Okay, so all I can do here is add articles. 
I don't have that option to add basic page. We didn't give that option in our uh, permissions area. So that's pretty much how you define a user uh, and, and define a user to a specific role.